Oh, of course, guys, first of all, if you do want to buy any FIFA 22 coins, make sure to check out U7 Buy in the description and use code RECOIL for 5% off. What is going on, guys? If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe. Of course, at 10K, we're giving away a PS5 or Xbox, an iArmor 37 inch monitor, 12,000 FIFA points, and then an extra thousand, which I'll explain in a moment, and then also a FIFA shirt with whatever you want on it. So it has to be a team in FIFA, but you can have whatever you want on the back. Of course, the extra thousand FIFA points is we're going to be opening a two rare gold players pack every day until the giveaway is finished so once i've hit 10k and then found winners and so if we get any informs or if we get any walkout so walkouts is a k extra and informs is 500 points extra so we're actually 500 up not k but if we get a walkout or an inform in this one it will be more and um, of course as well if you guys do want to be part of the discord all you've got to do uh, is drop me a message on instagram and we can get you in obviously we are doing a little bit of a, a cheaper trial period at the moment and um, obviously everyone in it so far really enjoying it getting a lot of coins so make sure to check that out but let's get into the video <laughs> So in today's video, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you in each filter or each player I'm looking at, three different players you can be looking at who meet the characteristics. They're going to be investments and sniping filters. So every single one of these you can snipe and make a ton of coins right now. And you can also invest in them. So if you've got a long-term investment available, make sure to be investing in these. I personally will. So on screen, you're going to have all three players we can look at here. But I'm going to go for Jimenez. And um, so th right now we're having a look at the cheapest 83s on the market. Now the reason Jimenez is so good is because he's also Premier League so when people go up a little bit you know when you've got the 82 83 rated SBCs Jimenez will be going up now his main price I believe right now is about 1.6 there it seems so we might go for the 1.4 so it seems he's actually risen in price since we actually found him for the video um, so we're going to go for a 1.4 or 1.3 there. That's brilliant. So that's a good, solid first snipe. So we can have on this one, as you can see, Jimenez, Hoiberg, or Kovacic. And we're going to do a snipe on each one uh, at the lower end. When we go to the higher rated players, we might uh, skip that just because my lack of coins at the minute. Uh, so we're going to go Hoiberg. Uh, we're looking here around the 1.3 mark, I think this guy is. He's gone a little bit cheaper than the rest. And um, so they're the cheapest of each rating of relevant leagues. So you don't want to go for non-relevant leagues. Top five is the best um, when doing these kind of investments. So you can see him at 1.3 there. We can pick him up for as low as 1.1, 1.2. So we're going to see if we can get a 1.1 there. Obviously, it's an investment. So we don't want the same bracket that we're having with normal sniping filters. With this one, personally, I could pick him up at 1.1 and be very happy knowing that he's going to go up. So obviously, the 83s will go up with any Team of the Week SPC or any SPC that requires a kind of lower rating. And so we've got Hoiberg there, Jimenez, and then we've also got Kovacic, all from the Prem as well. So they're also the cheapest free in the Prem, which is also quite a good sign. Um, they've, they've probably got a better value to be holding. Um, so 1.6 there, if we can get them a 1.5 or 1.4, ideally, I'll, I'll go for the 1.4. If not, we will settle for a 1.5. But I think we can get a good one for snipe on him. Another plot of time that might be good if you really want maximum investment on these, uh, maximum return on these, sorry, it might be worth sniping them during squad battles rewards tonight, I believe it would be. Oh, sorry, that was yesterday. It would be during weekend league rewards because there was somebody, some people somehow in weekend league um, or then Thursday on rewards day. That'd be a brilliant day to pick some of these up. Um, I know a lot of you don't have the full game yet, but a little hint might be if you haven't done your EA access hours or you have, sorry, um, it might be worth changing your console to New Zealand because apparently that means you get the full game. I, I wouldn't know personally. Um, I am a New Zealand citizen myself, but um, <laughs> you can try it out and get the game early. So that's always a good shout. We're going to go a couple more snipes in this guy. It seems like the 1.5 may have actually been a good deal there. Uh, another 1.5. I think we missed quite a good snipe on him. No 1.5s going up. Not a single one. Not even one. Come on. There's got to be someone thinking, right, I've got Kovacic. Let's min list him. I mean, to be fair, he's the one I actually already have in my club. So if we're going to miss out on any, we'll miss out on him. Um, it seems like we're getting a stinky L on him. Right, we're going to move on to the 84 options. We have starting off as Guerrero. And as you can see here, uh, we've got Guerrero. Now, this is where I'm going to start 
just going for the one of the players. So we do have Guerrero, Felipe, and Ginter. You see them on screen. This is kind of where I'm going to start just sniping one. Uh, purely because I am actually trying to conserve coins at the minute so I can just do some sniping with them. 1.7 isn't bad for the 84. We'll definitely, definitely take that. Um, he'll go up to 2K most days anyway, so that's a nice little profit there off the bat as a start. Um, we're now also going to move on to the 85. So with the options here being Sommer, Bonucci and Galashi. Now the reason I'm going to go for Galashi here is a little bit more technical than just the, the, the investment side because you know 85 is going to go up for example this one is brilliant in game so galashi is one of the best keepers i've used he's the best keeper i've faced the only person i'd say better in goal i mean you've maybe got Neuer potentially as a better opportunity in goal but other than that none um, and i think the only person i would upgrade him for in my team is Neuer. So that shows sort of where he's at. Now, if you want to make profit on him off the bat, 10% of 410, sorry, 4,100 is 410, half that. So it'd be 205 coins. So at this point, you're making 95. There, you're making 195. So we'll say that's okay because the range this year is 200 coins. Filter, we're doing investments, so we'll take a 200 coin profit rather than more because actually I'm believing this guy's going to go to 5 or 6k. Now, if you can, pick up like 5 or 6 of these because with these ones, I think Galashi's going to go up because of his ability in game and because of his rating. Obviously, anytime an SBC gets an 84 or an 85 rating, you need an 85 or an 86. And this isn't the time of year where people are going to be putting in 86s for these SBCs. They don't have the funds for it. None of us do. So we're just going to go and do compare price because it doesn't seem there's any coming up there. Um, but you, no one really has the funds to be paying that much for cards. So no one will be. Um, so you can definitely, oh, we want a 3.7, not a 3.9. No, not a 4. Um, so you will definitely be able to make some good profit here, guys. Um, no one has the coins to be put in a higher rated. So you have, you know, one of the best, in my opinion, people for these cheaper SBCs. Um, so cheaper, low, lower rated SBCs, you know, 84s. 83s to really bulk up the rate and you've got this guy and we've got him on a snipe where we'll make what a little bit my 500 coins there so that's not too bad for a galashi now we're moving on to the 86s now this is where it gets harder to actually snipe the cards but as i say guys you can definitely get snipes on these guys so it's always good to give it a try and a hand Danovich actually for an 87 i mean the, the price is dirt at the minute definitely worth investing in um, so I keep saying 87s, I don't know. Definitely worth investing in as an 86. Because look, 6.2k. You know when an 87 rated uh, SBC comes out. Or an 85, like 80, 85, 86. This guy's going to be skyrocketed. So he's realistically going for about 6.3. 10% would be 630. Half that is 30. You're looking at 315. So there, you're making 85 coins. There, 185. There, 285. If we can grab one for 5.6 or below, I'm over the moon. We might have to do a little bit of the compare price method. I think, as I've always said, as soon as you go higher up in price and you're only looking for one card, compare price method. It's just so easy. I think they've made it a little bit easier this year again. I think they did take away a little bit from it last year. 5.5 again. Lovely on the snipe. And then we're going to be looking uh, at the next next three players i almost said next seven now here uh, i don't know why i've said it for cards. here we're going to be looking at di maria Verratti and ruben diaz now ruben diaz is an interesting one i think of these guys he's going to be the best one to be sniper because at his current price he's actually not one of the cheapest ones he's a little bit more pricey he might have gone up let me just have a look so he's gone up to around 14k let's have a look what the other guys are at because i do believe maybe he's gone up massively since we initially said so let's have a look Okay, so these guys are at 10k. So he was actually part of the cheapest upon me making the video. Now, I still recommend investing in a Ruben Diaz. Let's see if we can. We'll go for a Ruben on the basis of a higher investment rate. And I'll explain that in a moment. And then we'll go for a Di Maria. Let's have a look. How much is he actually going for? About 18k. We saw one at 14. So 15 isn't a mile off. Let's have a look. Just 14 okay so 15 so after ea tax we need to snipe 750 under to make a profit so that's that's not even profit 14 is 250 profit let's see if we can get one um i'll hope that we can maybe get like a 13 or a 12. obviously if you snipe a 13 or 12 you're going to make sure the investment's a little bit tighter the reason that and we got him at 13 
so that's banging. So we'll take that and we're going to move on to Di Maria. Now the reason I say he's a good one is because he's Portuguese, he's from Man City, he's in the Prem. There's a few good you know, characteristics SBC wise. And then also when the game comes out, I don't think the guy's going to stay very low. I think he's definitely a solid investment anyway. So some of these guys are going to soar with SBCs. Some of them are just going to soar naturally. Now, I don't think that nine is a bad snipe. Um, he's going for like nine. What's he going for? Let's have a look. Realistically, he is going for about 10K. So EA tax on 10K is 500 coins. So on 9.5K, well, sorry, if I got him on for 9K and he's going for 10, that's fine, we've got 500k coins. And the cheapest we saw that was 9.5. That is the end of the video for today, guys. It's a little bit of a different one. All of these are investments. All of these are gonna make you a ton of coins. They're definitely worth smashing through all of them. Um, and you wanna go for each individual one. Now, obviously, on my transfer list, you might see I've got a few players here. I don't know how many of them I actually put up, but a lot of these players I am just storing in on the basis that we're gonna make basically make bank on them when the game releases now as you can see we've got jude bellingham here i think i'm going to save him now because it just doesn't seem to be selling but just on the basis of what i'm doing i am holding some players i'd say i've sold quite a lot but i'm using the coins so that's kind of what you want to do if you're going to save coins make sure you're using the ones you're saving make sure you're investing with them make sure you're doubling your coins i am at about 100k once i've sold all these guys anyway i'm just over 100k and i could probably gets to 300 if i sold everything that i've got invested so it's definitely something you've got to think about obviously tomorrow we get 4600 fee points that's a pretty big deal so i'm looking forward to that i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you tomorrow